So this comes up a lot, and I'm gonna try to do it in one thing without cuts and all that crap. So a lot of people ask, should I take the test online or in person? So I'm gonna try to go through the different choices and you can just figure it out on your own, right? So I'm not a fan of it, okay? If it makes you comfortable, take it online, take it at your home, and if it makes you feel better to not be around other people, that's fine, but there are issues, right? So one, there's no, um, let's start with the beginning. They're gonna require you to have a camera. They say external camera, but it's not a big deal. A lot of times if you have a laptop, you can just spin it around the room. They'll want a mirror so they can see that you didn't tape anything on the on, the, on your laptop to cheat. Um, and then once in a while they'll check. But remember, there's somebody watching you the whole time. So hopefully that's not gonna be a big deal. So somebody touched my face a million times because I'm outside. Now you do that, you set it up, you have the camera, they check you that you have your ID. Now the problem is there's no paper, okay? So you can't use external paper. You have to use their notepad. So if you're gonna take it online, start practicing using the calculator on your computer and that notepad. Because you can't draw, you can't do anything. So might as well get used to it now before worrying about all the other stuff. So now when you're in there, here's the issues. Okay, so that's fine. If you like that, that's fine. Somebody's gonna watch you. You can't speak because if they can read your lips or hear you talking, they're gonna think you're cheating, stuff like that. There's a lot of issues with it, okay? Make sure that everyone in your house is kicked out of the house and not gonna come in under pain of death, okay? Make sure there's nobody coming into your house under pain of death. Two, make sure your ID is valid. That's a big one. Three, what am I gonna say three? I have no idea. Make sure your internet is good. Make sure your internet is solid. Dog ran away, so I had to stop. So he's back, we fine. Ran to the road, didn't get killed. You have to have good internet. Make sure your internet is strong. Some people go rent a hotel room. Some people rent a room like in a library or something like that where you know the internet's strong. Because if it kicks out, if it kicks out too many times, then they're gonna have a problem, okay? Because then they're gonna go, okay, let's cancel the test, start over. They're not, I don't think they're gonna charge as a fail, but it's not good and you have to redo the whole thing. I think you get a 10 minute break. You can take one break during the thing. You can have a tissue, but nothing there, no pen, no nothing. Don't let anyone walk in the room. Please make sure that if you're gonna do it online, nobody walks in, okay? You got, and the other thing is, again, I've said this a million times, make sure your ID is valid. Now, there are some people from other countries where you can take this from anywhere in the world and they they pretty much you can do it almost any time at night stuff like that if you're going to be from another country sometimes your names are differently like the spanish sometimes have the last name before the middle name of the surname make sure whatever is on your license or your id matches what's on your u4 do that before you start booking because that's going to be a problem so online is one way i mean there's a lot of issues but it works for some people i don't like doing it if there's like the seven for the seven, I don't like into it. For the SIE, is fine. Seven, no. Six, okay. And the 63, 65, 66, they won't let you do it anyway, unless you're pretty much on your deathbed, okay? that's They're really strict. They think people would cheat. Who knew would cheat?